ladies and gentlemen. This is that time of the week again. Sorta, mostly. The winner of Fun Day Monday revealed. Yes. So we're excited to be able to bring you the Halloween version today. Carly is dressed as <laughs> my wife, and I am dressed as either a pirate or a corporate raider or maybe, just maybe, Jose Gaspar's grandmother. <laughs> so that's what we are dressed as for this Halloween edition of Monday Fun Day. But you might be asking, Jamie, what was the question? It was so long ago that I answered it that I don't remember what it was. So what was the question this week? What's the difference between the Miami Cuban and the Tampa Cuban? These are very big things. The cultural war is very real. Yes. There has been a cancel culture going on for a great number of years about whose Cuban is really a Cuban. No, no, we're not talking about Cuban cigars. These are Cuban sandwiches, ladies and gentlemen. As much fanfare has gone on about the finest Cuban cigars in all the lands and all Cuban, I'm sorry, all wonderful cigar smokers do not believe in the Cuban faux pas. The real question has come down to the smackdown on the Cuban sandwiches. In fact, there has lately been a documentary put out about whether or not Cuban sandwiches actually originated. Really? Y yes, true story. Okay. Jean-Pierre. Just kidding, that's not his name. Uh, no, they, there's uh, been a local historian that questioned whether or not Tampa was actually the originator of a Cuban sandwich or if it was Miami. So, gotcha. it is a little bit like Santa Claus and nobody knows. However, there is one thing that we know that is true is that there is a difference between the two. Mm -hmm. And that is salami. Because... That Miami sandwiches don't use salami at all. They don't. Uh, oh. And it's because we had Cuban, in, or I'm sorry, we had Italian influences here in Ybor City okay. back in the 20s and 30s during the uh, boom eras, and it just made its way into the sandwich. So whether or not um, it's truly authentic Cuban, authentically Cuban or not, who knows, right. um, but that shows our lo local culture and flair. Gotcha. So that's pretty darn exciting. Interesting, yeah. Um, and also, I don't know if y'all know this, but there are some subtleties. Uh, I, I, My personal opinion is that the real Cubans have legit pork that's been roasted. Like sometimes people just sort of put like pork cutlets on their own little, little like not cutlets, but like rah, rah, shaved pork. Yeah. This is like legit pork. Do you know where I had but one it's recently? still sliced, right? Like jelly meat? No, no, I had one the other day. Oh. Sal's Bodega down here in South Tampa. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Place. We haven't had them. Uh, it, you, you guys need to. Yeah. Con yeah. No, I took Connor. That sandwich was so good, oh. so big. <clears throat> anyway, all right, enough about okay. that. These people are dying to know <laughs> who the winner of the Monday Fun Day Bonanza Halloween Cuban debacle. Cuban, Cuban sandwich standoff. It's a Cuban, Cuban standoff. standoff. All right, so hold it up there. Don't show them. Just make it look like we're showing them. Fool the algorithm. Um, okay, let's give them an update about the market super quick so that we can let Facebook do its algorithm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It is slightly slower-ish. How's that? We had some buyers. Actually, did I tell you they may still be getting it? Anyway, we had some buyers yes. that submitted an offer in the first 24 hours, and there was only two offers, so we were very pleased with that. And then uh, it came into like 13 or 18 offers, uh, but it took four days to do that. So in our current market, that means it was a little slower. It doesn't sound slower, but usually that happens in the first 24 hours, and most of the people right. hadn't even seen the house. Oh, so, really? Yep. That's like, they just send in blind offers. Yeah. 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 Why it took them so long. I don't know. But anyway, um, so if you've been standing on the sidelines, uh, oh, and that price point was still like 300,000 or less. Mm -hmm. So that's what drove a lot of the attention on that deal. Right. So if you're been kind of standing on the sides and you're in a five to eight or a million plus, the, the competition is less fierce. Now mm -hmm. I am not a, what do they call them? Fortune teller. Although I may look like I'm dressed like one. <laughs> That's true. Uh, I would I would suspect that up north when it gets cold and people have to start shoveling snow again, mm -hmm. we're going to start getting calls. So. I just read an article too that uh, a police department, not in our county, is encouraging New York fire, New York police department, police men to move to Florida. Really? Yep. Why? So they can say, hey, I'm walking here. Um... The article I or because we don't have any cops. No, it was more they'll be treated more fairly down here. 
Oh, meaning they're being a little... Okay, yeah, Grady Judd, probably. Yes, I believe it was Polk County. Yeah, <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, so people who have been uh, anti-blue for a while, um, apparently our state is welcoming of you. So just don't bring a happy trigger finger. Anyway, so... But Polk County! We'll have... An, you, know, an, an, you know what they say about Polk, Polk County? Don't get between Grady Judd and camera. Mm -hmm. And the other thing they say, we ran out of bullets. <laughs> so there you go. Now, you've been waiting. You're ready. You want to know who the winner is of the... Uh-oh, I see a VI I in there. I I'm going to guess who it is. <laughs> no, I don't want to guess. I'm going to guess in my heart. Okay, I put the guess in my heart. All right, go ahead. Do you want me to tell you? <laughs> I, yeah, you and I are on the same page. Oh, are we? I'm sure. See, guys, that's what happens when you've been married so long. You don't have to talk anymore. You just sit on the couch and stare at the TV. And you've already communicated. See, so you want to say with it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay, you ready? I shouldn't have written in a dark ink. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it's not who you thought it's it was. It's not who I thought it was. Ah, oh. But that's okay. Take your time. Oh, it's stuck. The mystery. Sorry. The mystery's going to reveal itself. It's and remember, stuck. you're going to have to come back and say thank you. Thanks, Naputi. That is hysterical. I know. Because your wife just won. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. So there you go. So claim it's still uh, charity pay it forward. So Is that right? This month? Yeah, we're still in October. Yeah, so pick a pick a charity, and we will make a donation in your name. Yep. Uh, twenty five bucks, and then um, next month it goes back to uh, greedy old you. <laughs> uh, you get your own gift card. Yes. So there you go. Yep. Uh, make it a great day, James Adair, Keller Williams, Stamp Central Griff Group. Carly Adair, Keller Williams, Stamp Central Griff Group. Whoop whoop.